prevent the entry of water, there is the panel side plating, then the rubber packing and the compression bar. Although in some designs the rubber rests on the combing table, sometimes called the top plate, itself. And then the drain channel, sited inboard of the compression bar, and the last barrier to water entry to the hold during exceptional weather conditions. The most important barrier to the penetration of water is the rubber packing resting on the compression bar. There will be distortion at this interface with the flexing of the ship's hull. Therefore, the rubber packing needs to be sufficiently elastic to accommodate any changes of shape. This demands a particular type of rubber compound obtained from specialist manufacturers. Here are some typical examples. The flex seal rubber packing, the cat or sliding profile, the solid rubber packing, and the sponge core. Standard packings should last for several years as long as they are well maintained. Hatch covers are manufactured with a specific design compression, the degree of compression necessary to keep water out without permanently deforming the rubber. Over compression leads to the rubber setting, resulting in a deep, permanent imprint developing along the surface as the rubber begins to harden. To avoid over compression and maintain resilience, the rubber packing must not take the full weight of the hatch cover. Hatch covers are therefore designed to sit on supporting steelwork rather than rest on the rubber packing. This is normally referred to as the steel to steel contact. In older designs, the hatch cover side plating sits directly on the combing surface. 